welcome to this episode of The Daily. My name is Brendan Malone. While today's episode is not so much a movie review as it is a strong recommendation that everyone gets out there and watches this new documentary film that I saw last weekend called The Fear of Thirteen. It is a profoundly moving and beautiful documentary. I'm not going to tell you a lot about it because I don't want to spoil the experience for you. Um, it's shot in the style of Errol Morris. If you know the documentaries of Errol Morris, uh, this is a guy who has a lot of on-camera interviews where people are, st- are speaking to the camera and telling their story. And it's intercut with really beautiful and well-shot visuals uh, and, and that, that, that actually tell the visual story of what we're hearing from the person who's speaking. And there's these beautiful sort of uh, orchestral scores that underpin what's going on. It's, it's, his documentaries are sort of more like an experience. It's sort of like art meets documentary. And this is really told in that style as well. It's a really beautiful sort of experience. And the, the film basically, I'll give you the basic synopsis. The film is about a, a death row inmate who, uh, who has got to the point in his prison term, he's on death row, he's been there for many years, where he has just written to the judge and he has said, I've had enough, I want you to execute me, I want to be killed. And basically that's where the film sort of starts off. And, and, it, and he tells his story of how he got to this point and, and what's going on in his life and what his life is. It's profoundly beautiful. It is a profoundly beautiful story. Now, don't worry if you're not into crime dramas or you're not interested in stories about prison and death row. This is a film that is about the human experience. It's much bigger than just this man's prison experience. And the way he narrates and tells his story, I think, is really, really beautiful. He has this really engaging style. You'd think that a movie with a guy just sitting there talking to you for an hour and a half could get pretty boring very quickly, but it doesn't. He has a really poetic turn of phrase about the way he shares his experiences and some of the stories and the things that he has experienced. Man, they are just, it's just storytelling at its finest. It's it's, it's almost like something from a bygone era, someone sitting around a fire telling you their story and you're just sitting there captivated as this whole thing sort of unfolds in front of you. There's one particular point in the film that that I was sort of expecting, based on what I know of people who who have been in his situation and the experiences they've had. I was sort of waiting for this moment, and sure enough, the movie does arrive in the film, but when it does arrive, even though I was expecting this element to be present in his story, the moment is nonetheless powerful and moving, and and, and it it, it wasn't like I was sitting there going, oh yeah, oh I knew that was coming. It's, it's, It's just such a well told story and such a well-crafted documentary. It has 92% on uh, Rotten Tomatoes, which is no mean feat. So I can't recommend this film highly enough. Everyone needs to go and see this. Uh, Not for kids, obviously, but for adults, but everyone needs to go and see this. It's called The Fear of 13. It's available on Netflix, and I'm pretty sure if your local DVD store is still open, you'll be able to rent it there as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow on The Daily. (laughs) 